Hello everyone, this is me, Diara. Welcome to my channel, welcome back, welcome to everyone who's new. My name is Diara, I am an intuitive card reader from Germany and this is your monthly prediction about what's coming in for you in July, okay? This is for July 23, half the year is already over, is there to believe? Wow, time is flying, literally. So let's check into the second part of this year and let's see what's waiting for us. So there will be three parts to choose from. This is going to be number one, number two and number three. I will be taking cards from all the decks in each pile, every single one. Um, but just for you, some people, they like a little bit help to choose. So one, two, three, and the timestamps is going to be down low in the description box. Just um, a quick note, if you want a personal reading, I am available. My website is currently under construction, but I am available, okay? So just um, write to me via the contact form um, and yeah, I will send you all the information in English, no problem, okay? It's just my, my website is under construction right now. Thank you for your understanding. Okay, so let's start with pile number one. Let's check in. What do we need to know for you guys? Pile number one, pile number one. Let's see. Next month, July. What's coming in? What do we need to know? What's waiting for you? What is spirit preparing you for? This is a month of growth, okay? Something will grow. This could probably be yourself, like um, your mind is maybe expanding. All of a sudden you will see the world through different eyes. I don't know, maybe you will change your ways, the way you dress, the way you think, the way you speak, the way you show up. Um, something is growing, okay? And that can mean, this is always something good. Okay, so this is good news. Something is growing, maybe a relationship. And yeah, see this? Um, something very positive is happening for you in July. So this is all about the right attitude. This is about trusting and being optimistic. And this card, is it just me? But um, can't you see it as well? It reminds me of the card number eight in Tarot, which is the strength card. We do see a woman, she's dressed in red, which is all about power and, you know, like strength and empowerment. And then we see the lion. This is uh, pretty much the same as what we see in the tarot. So I feel like your strength is growing. You are growing to a better version of yourself. You are growing. Your trust, your belief is growing, okay? Expanding, accelerating. Uh, maybe, yes, you have been a little bit doubtful um, in the past, but I feel like your strength and your power is growing to the better. You will feel way more optimistic about things. And what else do we have? Yeah, okay, I mean, come on, this is a good card. I mean, this is really like a very positive um, pile here, number one. What you are wishing for, these are German cards, so I know you can't read it, but some of you, you do speak German, so um, whether you can read it or not, I'm going to translate it. This is Azur, and it says, what you have been wishing for is coming in soon. Okay, so stay a little bit more patient and trust. Don't try to force anything because it's coming in anyways, okay? It is already waiting for you around the corner. You may not be able to see it, okay? But it is happening. You are being prepared for it. People are being prepared for it. And that is also so important, right? It's not just you. 
Are you hearing this? It's not just you. I mean, yes, you are ready. Yes, you are probably waiting for something, but it's also about the others. We are in this together, right? So please be patient and trust that what's supposed to be yours is yours, okay? And no one can take it away from you. No one can take it away from you. Spirit will have your back, okay? You are being taken care for. And I don't know why, but maybe it has to do with love. Maybe this is about the King of Cups, as we can see him here in reverse. So maybe there is um, a male energy here um, who is being prepared for you. The card is in reverse. So maybe this person, this king, is not yet a 100% ready for you and your connection but you know things will shift spirit is taking care for it already and this is maybe why we see the grow card here you know like this person is about to grow this person is about to change you are about to grow and change and to see everything through yeah different eyes and you have all reason to be optimistic. So keep up with your good attitude. Um, mending work, I think this is um, quite self-explanatory, I would say. Like things are being healed. You are being healed, you know, like, and everything that's happening right now is holy, whole, complete, you know. It's being accomplished. It's being completed. And yeah, I don't know what to say. I mean, this is a very um, optimistic pile. I'm so happy for you guys. I don't know where you're coming from. Maybe you are coming from a place where things have not been so easy for you, um, but it's, it's getting better, okay? I can definitely say that it's getting better. I mean, every single card is so promising here. Um, you have all reason to believe in yourself, your strengths, your power, your ability. You can manifest, okay? Yeah, and the chemistry is right, I tell you. So if you have a guy in mind, or maybe if you are a guy and we talk about a woman here, or maybe like same gender, I don't know, whatever, um, this, the, chemistry, the chemistry is right. The energy, I wanted to say. Energy and chemistry all at the same time. But yeah, maybe this is what we see. Like chemistry, energy, attraction, all the good stuff, you know, it's happening right here, right now. So July is going to be a very, very positive and strong month. I think a, one big change is coming in. I'm not saying that your whole life is going to be turned around like 180 degrees, but at least in one department, one part of your life is going to change big time, okay? And this is because the chemistry and the energy and the time is right now, you know? Um, this is like when we talk about gardening and a fruit um, on a tree, like they have to be ripe if you pick them before they are ready they're not going to taste good you can't do anything with them right because it was not yet the right time so sometimes yes we are on hold yes we have to wait yes we have to be patient and maybe some of you are rolling their eyes right now because you can't hear it anymore like oh get away with patience i don't want to hear about it anymore i've been so patient all my life now i'm giving in i'm giving up you know but this is not about giving up this is about believing that one day the fruit is ready and ripe and wonderful things are being accomplished from this fruit if you know what i'm saying okay I'm, I'm speaking in a metaphor here in a picture i hope you understand uh anyways um good luck for you guys i think great times are waiting for you ah, bottom of the deck here we go again trust and patience <laughs> Yeah, I mean, maybe this King of Cups is very slow moving and it drives you crazy. But once again, I know I'm repeating myself here, but once again, stay positive, stay optimistic. Okay, it is happening. Both of you are being prepared. If this is not about love, if this is not about a King of Cups, um, still 
this spread is talking about things and situations, whether or not with people involved, um, are going to change big time to the better. Okay, so this is your takeaway from this pile. Things are going to change for the better. You have all reason to believe in yourself, your ability and your strengths. Your strengths, your power is so attracting to others. You will pull in the right people for sure. Okay, this is about the law of attraction. Um, you will pull in the right people into your field and you have all reason to stay optimistic, pile number one. Namaste. Thank you so much for listening. Um, I wish you only the best. Peace out and see you with one of my next readings. Let's continue with pile number two. Okay, so pile number two. What's coming in for you next month? What do we need to know? Let's just see. <clears throat> What's coming in for you guys? Pile number two. What do we need to know? The incoming energies for July. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, open yourself up for everything that wants to show up, okay? Be open, trust that you are on the right path. And good things are waiting for you. Okay, and then let's reveal what the cards are saying. Pile number two, gratitude, growth, tic-tac. So this is about divine timing and the right timing. Archangel Raphael, um, who is a healer, okay? Whenever we see Archangel Raphael, it's all about um, healing, okay? It's all about healing. Um, you are a healer, maybe yourself. Um, maybe you have your own, you know, like things going on when it comes to healing. And yeah, I don't know. Um, this kind of work, the work that I am doing, maybe, who knows, you are a fellow reader, a colleague, so to say, maybe you have your own channel going on. Um, and maybe like every now and then, you like to listen to other people's reading, just to, yeah, just to see what others are doing and stuff. But you have your own things going on. And that's okay. You have all reason to be grateful. Um, and thankful and I can tell you something in your life is uh, growing right now and the, the funny thing is I probably do have some cross watches here from pile number one because we had the same card popping up in the first pile something is growing and I was talking about you know like a fruit on a tree um, and that we have to be patient enough to wait until the fruit is ripe. Because if we would pick it earlier, even just maybe like two weeks earlier, because we think it's ready to be picked, it looks as if it's ready to be picked, like from the outside. But still, once you take a bite, you will finally find out like, oh, it was not uh, ready to be picked. I was too early, like, ah. God damn, like two more weeks and then it would have been perfect, you know, because now it tastes a little bitter or sour or whatever. And this is, I guess, why we see the growth card coming out twice in both of the piles. And in this case, pile number two, we have the Tic Tac card as well. So once again, this is your reminder to um, take time Okay, you're not in a hurry. Don't rush. Don't try to force. Um, I feel like this pile too has something to do with love because we see the true love card coming in. And maybe this is your thing. Maybe this is your issue. Maybe love has been an issue for all your life, right? Maybe you never found the one, the one till now. Um, and I tell you, or you have been maybe with a lot of guys or women, I don't know, but it was never the right one. It was, there was always a little bit of sour or a bit of taste in it, you know? And as I said, 
there's a reason and the time was not ripe. I mean, everyone who's playing a role, everyone who comes into our life is coming in for a reason. And there's always a lesson and the learning behind it. Like even with the very, very, very complicated and sad stories that we experience, like the bad ones, you know, um, the one that is very much full of drama and whatnot, um, it is always coming in with, you know, a lesson and a learning. So you could say that the time is always ripe whenever two people meet and have an experience, it was the right time for them to meet. It was the right time for this special encounter, but it was probably not the right time yet to experience true love, real love, you know, um, unconditional love. But I see this coming in. I see it coming in. We have the hangman here in reverse. And to me, it sounds as if the waiting is over. This is the hangman in reverse because usually the card looks like this. Someone is hanging on a tree and just waiting, just chilling, you know? And from the outside, it looks as if nothing is happening. He's just hanging there. And maybe you think like, okay, is this guy ever coming off his tree or not? Am I waiting here for nothing? And since we see the card coming out in reverse, I would say the waiting is about to be over soon. Okay. Anything else? Chemistry. You deserve to be loved. Past life relation. Yeah, maybe this guy that's waiting for you and you probably don't know him yet. Um, maybe you know him, but you are not 100% aware that this is the one for you. Um, so love is coming in for sure, pile number two, okay? I just want you to know this um, very soon, by the way. Again, very soon. Tick tock. Time is ticking. Okay, it's happening. And then again, trust and patience. And these are all cards that we saw before in pile number one. Um, past life relation, chemistry, you deserve to be loved. I feel like love is coming in very, very soon. For those who have chosen pile number two, whether you are a cross watcher or not, I don't know, but um, there's a big love waiting for you. There is growth happening right now in your life because you are ready now you are ready now to receive you have been through your lessons okay um and you did your gratitude work because i mean we all know gratitude is so 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 important it's so important to be thankful and grateful for everything like even the bad things bad when i say bad I don't mean it in a literal way, because from a spiritual perspective, there is no such thing as, you know, good or bad or right or wrong. Um, is there anything else? Let's just, let's check it out. Any other message for pile number two? Inspiration. Yeah, and so I feel like maybe this month is also a month full of inspiration, Okay, where you feel very um, inspired and creative and um, yeah, it's just flowing. I, I'm seeing water, so I feel like you will feel as if everything is in a good flow right now. And whereas the energy was probably a little bit um, stuck for a while before, I think it's going to float and flow again, okay? So this is what you are expecting for next month. So I think I'll leave it here. Thank you so much. Um, this was a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for your comments, likes, shares. And um, I see you with uh, one of my next readings. Peace out and namaste. And don't forget to subscribe so you're not missing any readings. Pile number three. Okay, pile number three. What do we need to know for you next month? Oh, Ace of Wands. A lot of energy. Ace of Swords. Decisions. 
choices. Maybe someone is choosing you. The Ace of Wands to me is um, a very passionate card. Every Ace is about chances and opportunities. It's always about choices. Um, and I would say, especially the Ace of Wands, very often is about love and attraction, if you know what I mean. Um, what else do we have? Yep, here we go. Love is in the air. Love is coming in for you guys. Dates, you know, like flirting and wonderful solutions. This is Mystique and she says, um, take it easy, okay? Um, don't accept this is not possible because everything is possible for you right now. Expect beautiful solutions. I mean, come on. Is that beautiful or not? All the three parts have been awesome today. I don't know why, but obviously, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I think we just deserve it. Maybe everyone who's coming to my channel still, and I don't have such a big audience, to be honest with you. I think it's a small exclusive circle things have changed on youtube a lot throughout the last i would say 12 months i don't know really why but um this is how i feel it um anyways and i would say like everyone who is still listening and coming back to my channel like if you are part of this small exclusive circle of people spiritual people you deserve it that's it, full stop. Come on, I mean, a lot of people are not listening right now to this pile, right? I mean, we have 8,000 uh, million people living on this planet and like from this impossible big crowd, only let's say thousands are listening to this pile. And these couple of people, if you are one of these thousand people you deserve it like no matter which pile you have chosen today one two or three you deserve it you deserve this beautiful message you deserve a miracle you deserve attraction passion you deserve opportunities this is how i see it okay love is coming in and this is a side job is probably also important for you next month. Um, maybe you can expand um, your job a little bit. Maybe um, you always love to sing or to dance or to draw pictures. And, you know, like maybe you can just add it to your main job next month. Maybe there will be a good opportunity to do a little bit extra, to make a little bit more money extra on the side. I don't know. Maybe if you have a side job and it was not so easy, maybe like also to combine it with your main job and everything, maybe you always wanted to put a little bit more effort and energy into your side hustle, but it never really happened. It was always a little bit too, you know, like... Are complicated to do it for whatever reasons or maybe you didn't really feel ready for it for whatever reason I feel like your 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 part job your side job your side hustle if you have one because not everyone has one but if you have one um, it's becoming more important as of next month okay your side hustle is becoming more and more important to you um and this is the sweet home sweet home card home sweet home yeah i think you will feel more and more comfy and cozy in your four walls as we say it in germany i don't know whether you have um a similar quote in english but like you will feel at home, like wherever you are now in your life, at this given point of your life, um, you feel cozy and protected and very satisfied. And this is something you can be proud of it. Let me tell you this, because it is so important to create a home where we feel 
safe and secure and home. This is why it's called home, right? Um, this is what I see for you. So this is a little bit different energy from pile number one and two. Um, and that's okay. This is why I do offer different piles. Otherwise, it would be just one single reading, the same for everyone. Um, I feel like there's always like little differences between the different people who are watching. Um, and yeah, let's check into the love part because we saw love popping up here. So love is obviously going to be very important for you guys next month. Everything that has to do with love, whether it's about how much you love your job or yourself or your friends or maybe love in a romantic way let's let's clarify let's double check why do we see the love card okay so this is um pan number three i do see a little bit self-love work must be done here still i wanted to clarify the love card and the first card that came out was unrequited love so maybe you always fall for the wrong ones. Maybe love is not playing such a big role in your life so far. Maybe you are single. Maybe you are divorced. I don't know. Um, so Spirit is asking you to take care of you in a very loving way, in a very gentle way. Love yourself first and stay open. Stay open it's because your soulmate probably differs from your usual type and your usual expectations, okay? We see this card very, very often in readings, very often, so I don't wanna dig into it so much here today. I did it before in other readings, but somehow this card is self-explanatory, isn't it? I mean, love yourself first, okay? So what do you have to do? What does the love card mean in your case, card number three? love yourself so this is not so much about loving others or having a crush on others and putting someone else first it's about to love yourself first okay and to stay open and to see everything in a little bit more a playful way okay maybe you took love very serious and there was always a lot of drama going on in your love life in whatsoever way Take it a little bit more lighthearted. Take it a little bit more playful, okay? Don't create drama. Um, take it easy, you know. Um, it's just a guy. It's just love. <laughs> take it like this. Um, and then finally we see give your relation a chance. And I love it. It makes sense. Give your relation a chance, any relation, not just the one that you prefer and that you see right now. Like I'm talking about people who are very obsessed about one specific person and it has to be them. It has to be this person or no one at all. Like I feel it, I want it and I will manifest this specific person into my world. But this is not happening. You cannot force someone to love you. They either love you, they either feel it, it's either a mutual thing or not. It's easy as that. Either someone sees you and feels it right away and then they fall in love and then they will ask you out for a date and whatnot, they will make the effort, they will pursue you or not, okay? Remember this one episode um, back in the 90s? I don't know, like if you know Carrie Bradshaw and uh, in the city, I don't want to say this word, otherwise they rate my reading to be 18 plus and I don't want that. It happened before. So if you remember and the city, and then you probably remember this one episode where they said like, hey, he's just not that into you and that's okay. Just accept if someone is just not that much into you. It sounds so easy. We all know it's totally not easy because, you know, like we want the miracle to happen and everything. But sometimes, yes, you can have the miracle. Remember, mystique, you can have the miracle, maybe just not with this specific person. But the miracle and the, the, the solution, it's out there. 
Okay, so believe in love generally, not just one particular love or person, but general love is out there. There's a lot of love out there and a lot of people you could fall in love with if you open yourself and if you accept boundaries. Because if someone is not feeling it, they're not feeling it, okay? It has nothing to do with you as a person. It's their own thing. It's their own story. They have their own reasons, okay? And you are still a beautiful, very great person. And it's not about you. It's about them. And this is something we must understand and differentiate. Okay, let's just see. Is there anything else I want to add? No, I don't think so. I think everything has been said. Believe in love, true love miraculous love because it's out there it's waiting for you it wants to be discovered by you so open your eyes and see love everywhere around you not just in one particular person or story but generally okay this is my final word peace out and namaste you guys namaste